This here is Aitana Lopez, one of the most popular AI influencers we have on Instagram. And she's not the only one. If you come over to this page, you'll be able to find hundreds of AI models that are actually using the same principles to make money through Instagram. And if you're wondering how you can create your own consistent AI influencer and you're not particularly tech savvy, I'll show you exactly how you can do that. But before we get started, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also remember to like and share this video so that more people will be able to find it. Let's get right into it. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to Tensor Art. The link is in the description box below or you can just search for Tensor Art on Google. And you can just sign in or sign up with your Google account or your Discord account. So this is the home page. And as you can see, there are a bunch of AI tools that you can actually choose from. You can actually go ahead and train or even just host your model on the platform. But today, the only thing that I'm interested in showing you is how you can create your consistent AI influencer using TensorArt. So we'll just go over to the creation tab. You can go ahead and click right here or you can click on this one up here. It's all the same. So just hit create or creation. If you had prior creations, that's where it's basically going to take you. So you can go ahead and change the base model to whichever model that you want. So just click on the base model and you'll be able to go ahead and change the base model to whichever model that you want, whether it's a 3D character, whether it's a realistic character, which whatever you want, you'll be able to change it over here. You can go ahead and click on add LoRa. Basically, that's a model that is basically highly trained on a specific area. Now you can also go ahead and choose the aspect ratio that you want. You can choose portrait, landscape, square, or you can just go ahead and choose custom. If you click on custom, you'll be able to input the parameters, the exact parameters that you want for your model. So you can just go ahead and change that. If you want very specific dimensions, that's what you do. Down here, you'll be able to choose the number of images that you get per generation. You can either choose one or two if you're on a free account. But for a pro user, you can choose up to four images per generation. Up here, you have three options. You can choose to create your images from a text or from another image. And you also have an option to animate your you know, images. So we're just going to choose the text to image and you're going to input our prompt over here. So I've just written out a prompt of how I want my character to be. You can go ahead and be as specific as possible to get the best results. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add a negative prompt over here as well. So a negative prompt is basically all the things that you do not want to see in your character. So if you have a trait that you do not want to see in your character, make sure to put it in the negative prompt. So now we're going to click on add Laura and we're going to add models that are going to help us fine tune our character further. Now, since we are doing a realistic model, we are going to hit on realistic and we're going to choose one of these. Uh, we're going to choose this photo reel. Now we are just going to go ahead and click on add Laura to add another fine tuned model. So this extremely realistic one looks good. You can just go ahead and select that. And you can go ahead and add more depending on the kind of fine tuning that you want to see in your character. Now on this search bar up here, you can just go ahead and input a keyword and you can go ahead and search for a specific Laura. So we're just going to add on this one as well. And now we are ready to start generating our images. Our first set of models are here and they actually look okay. So let's just zoom this in and as you can see, this actually look good. And now if you notice any kind of deformity or uh, issue with your character, you can just use one of these tools on top and you can either go ahead and in paint or you can hit after detailer and you can go ahead and describe what you want to change in your character. So you can just go and choose the part of the character that you want to change. You can input a prompt to direct it exactly how to change the, the specific part that you've chosen. And you can even add a negative prompt if you so wish. And also at this point, you can add Laura, for instance. So if your hands, if the hands of your character are all deformed and all, you can just go ahead and add, you know, perfect hands for that specific pro, uh, generation, sorry. And you can go ahead and now input your little prompt over there, negative prompt if you so wish. And now here you have your character. 
the hands are looking way better than what you had before. So other than that, you can just use the in paint feature where you just go ahead and uh, choose the part of the image that has an issue. And once that is done, you can go ahead and now input a prompt of how you want the AI to change the character or that specific part that you have chosen. So at this point, just go ahead and start changing the outfit of the character and be keen to check whether the character that you're getting is the same as the character that you're getting before. Before we go to the next step, we need to make sure that we get a character that we actually like, that actually goes hand in hand with our description. So we'll just keep generating this character until we get a character that is totally exactly what you want. So I have found a model that I actually really like. So now I'm going to change the number of generations to one. And now the next thing that you need to do and pay attention at this point, you're going to copy the image ID on top of the image that I liked. So we're going to copy this ID and we are going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to see somewhere written seed. So this is where we are going to paste this ID number and make sure you just paste the number itself. So once that is done, basically what that means is that every other character that you're going to be generating from here is going to be based on the image whose ID we just copied. Now looking at this, I'd say that our character is turning out to be pretty good and the consistency is actually really, really good. We are just going to keep running with this. We'll keep generating our AI model with these same parameters. So the only thing that you're going to be changing is what our character is doing, what they're wearing, where they are or such like things. But the base description now is just going to remain the same and the seed character is also just going to remain the same. One more thing that you have to remember is that these images will only be on this platform for 14 days. So after 14 days, you can be sure that you'll not find any images here. If this is something you intend to do long term, I'd suggest going back every few days to just keep generating more and more characters. Now, your base, uh, your prompt is still just going to be there. Nobody's going to tamper with that. As long as you have made a creation within 14 days, your prompt, your negative prompt, and all the other settings are going to remain the same unless you go back and change them yourself. I absolutely love how our AI model is turning out and the consistency is actually really, really, really good. So this is actually a very convenient way to create your AI model and to actually ensure that the consistency is really good because that is one of the major challenges of creating a model. Most of the time, you're bound to run into consistency issues. And with this, you can be sure that your character is going to remain pretty much the same. In case you need any further clarification on this, make sure to put it in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer. And I hope you're able to hack this one. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye.